y'all don't remember how i does this good well i'm gonna remind you it's been a long time coming but we here it's the street report like comment subscribe follow our social media it's in the link description box down below and we got my brother in the building gang 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 how we feeling gang it was good, nigga. <laughs> this nigga still hypnotized right now. This nigga still hypnotized right now. Hey, Rock! Hey, Rock! What it do, Brody? What's good, man? I'm chilling, bro. Episode, what is this? Episode 8? Episode 8. Yeah. Episode, eight. Episode, eight. Episode, eight. episode 8. Episode 8. Anybody got 8 rings in the NBA? Uh, Robert Horry has 7. I know... Uh, Bill Russell, how much he got? Eleven. Eleven. But nobody got like eight, got eight specifically, eight. right? Yeah, I don't think. Uh, okay. I don't think nobody got eight specifically. <sighs> but welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show, gang. And we got somebody in the building who remember if y'all watched the last episode, the end of the last episode, we said, "Yo, bro, <laughs> we don't want you to text us no more. We don't want you to call us no more <laughs> if you." Say, are you pulling up? Because you just be lying, nigga. <laughs> so we said specifically, ain't no more of this. Oh, we're going to text. Nah, nah. He going to have to just pull up and just pull up. So today I'm sitting down chilling. I turn around and all I see is this nigga. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. Back in this bitch, you heard? Gang. I know niggas miss me, you heard? I know y'all miss me, man. I What's, keep this shit up, bro. I'm back, bitches. What's up, bro? Welcome back to the show. How you feeling? I'm cooling, bro, man. You know me, man. I stay busy, bro. It's good to be back. I've been missing this shit, bro. It's good to see our faces. It's good to be here. It's always good vibes when I'm on this shit. You know that. So, so as you can see, since you've been going, there's been a lot of remake, a lot of renovation going on. Nice uh, little changes. I see everything. Yeah, it's coming along real good, bro. I, I was love looking, it. I was looking. Yeah, it's looking good. Since I like it. Since you've been going, we've notched the 200 subscriber mark. Bro. I seen that too. I'm, yeah. I'm keeping up. I'm, I'm watching all the news. I seen the views going up. We go, y'all going crazy, bro. Like y'all doing yes, y'all sir. thing, man. Yes, sir. I see. Uh, I'm paying attention, bro. I, I'm in the shadows, bro. You know me, man. I'm, I'm the real James St. Patrick, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm the ghost. You never gonna catch me, nigga. I feel you, gang. So, so we got my nigga what's, back what's, in the building, right? What's pop? So bro? since we got him back in the building, we gonna speak about a topic that happened today. Since he wanna pop up out of nowhere today, we gonna have to. To talk about a topic that happened that I seen today, I should say. So pretty much happened today. Apparently, Rick Ross and his son, uh, from what I'm hearing, got jumped by OVO goons at uh, and one of his entourage was left unconscious after they pulled up to Canada trying to play Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us uh uh track. You said him and his son? Yeah. It was his son. His, his son was that got whooped on. That's what I oh, the, allegedly, oh. allegedly. Allegedly, his son was involved in the situation. Allegedly. So, this is the video. We're gonna put it there, but this is the video of the fight, the whole fight situation, how it started front to end. The party got the party playing with his nose now. Right. Oh, I'm watching I'm this shit on Twitter my right go now. get our, I mean YouTube go get our ass. <laughs> Pause. That big ass security guard. That's Rick Ross <laughs> security guard. That, yeah, the big nigga with the dreads. I think. That's Rick Ross security guard. The, the big nigga with the dreads is Rick Ross security guard. I you seen the little nigga that was just yoking him up, yoking him, wilding him. Like what up, the bro? fuck? Like how you let him? <laughs> and, and mind you, mind you, bro, he ain't even get into the whole scuffle. Until they the beating a the nigga up. They, Cooking him, bro. Some nigga, some white nigga on the end just kicking him in his head. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got his kicks in, bro. Didn't kick him three times in his shit. Oh, Where Rick Ross at? Wait. Nah, he wake. Yo, bro. He was, <laughs> you see how he was walking when he got up? Who Ross? Nah, his security guard. Right. He looked like he was about to fall. Yo, nah, you, you ain't even see dude was slumped, and they had to pick him up. Who slumped him? He slumped somebody? Nah, somebody got slumped. Somebody got slumped and they had to pick him up, gang. They wild, bro. Oh, they throwing drinks, too. That's a bitch-ass nigga. I paid for that drink. They, They stole them out, too. 
Yeah. Debo Stolly Mel. Like, who the fuck? Who the fuck is with Rick Ross? Oh! Oh, no. It was beating this nigga up. The big nigga go back to fight? Ross is gone, bro. Damn. Oh. Oh, no, he was laid out. Yeah, I seen that. Niggas try to pick him up, bro. It was picking his body off the floor. Nah, he was laid out. Niggas about to carry him. Niggas is that carrying him like a child, bro. They straight wild them up. And that's straight, that's I don't know if that's Drake goons or whatever, but they said OVO group or whatever. I know Drake's smiling somewhere it is. Yeah, I don't I don't I'm gonna save it. Damn. Nah, he that slump that shit. <sighs> niggas looking bad. All the niggas. I ain't no can- uh, Canadian niggas get down like that if I'm keeping them stuck. Bro, they be wilding out there. Yo. I ain't even know the niggas they be like that. Man, so, they that's... sweet like bacon. Make that's the syrup ass th- niggas. Word. That's what, I, that's what I thought. <laughs> Recipes, my the niggas boy. Niggas Recipe, past day. Past day, passed away in Canada, Canada trying to... Break up a fight and got stabbed up. Word. Oh, yeah. That's how he passed. So, so yeah, and I wanted to say, I don't think, uh, well, not that I don't think, it's not proven that these are actually OVO's goons. These could just be fucking Drake fans, bro. Mm-hmm. Just, just a fan. You know how these niggas be getting, bro. Fanboys. Hmm? Fanboys, bro. They just, oh, you talking about Drake? I, like, they know him. Yeah. That's <laughs> Come fact. on, bro. He ain't signed you. And uh, after that situation, you have 50 Cent. Actually, react on it. This is what he said. Yeah. Hey, guys. He did this little movie <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see what he called Meek Mika? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga called him Mika. Nigga said, hold on, I'm about to pull out of right now. He said, LMAO, great escape. Mika called the chasers. They are chasing me, LOL. That's <laughs> sick, bro. And then uh some uh I, I guess a fan or whatever posted. Um he said Demons at a show tonight, he shouldn't have played Kendrick with Mars hit record. And somebody else said shout out to Vancouver for chin checking double double chin on Canada Day. And Drake liked both of them tweets or, or Instagram posts. Drake liked both of them. So Drake watching, he watching. So he out here. I already said it. He laugh, He smiling ear to ear right now. Yeah, I seen he posted a um, was it a picture in the restaurant that um Kendrick Lamar had mentioned in one of his diss tracks? Yep, yep. Bro, Drake, Drake is Drake is on the media, bro. He's there paying attention, bro. He's just yeah doing shit to drop little teasers and shit. Like he chilling, he, bro. He, he also posted uh, you know, Kendrick calls him a sixty nine guy. He went bowling. He put that ass his name. <laughs> he put that ass his name for his bowling. So, bro, he's having too much fun, bro. Yeah, you know, you know, he's trolling that nigga. Drake is like right after the trolling. incident. Um, Rick Ross posted a picture of him. I guess it's with his private jet. It says Rick Ross on it. It says Vancouver. It was fun until next time, man. It's just a regular picture of him. He ain't so, going back to Canada. At least he, at least he good. At least my boy good. He ain't going back to Canada. No time you know soon. He's not allowed back over there. He ain't going back to Canada. But what I will say is this is actually turning into what I didn't want it to turn into. We don't want to see it turn into violence, bro. It's just, you know, 
competition, friendly competition, all fun and games, but industry beef. Yeah. Not no real fight. No, we ain't want it to be that. But then I mean, you, entertainment, you know, bro. Yeah, but they, you know, once they got personal, I guess that's when you, you know, you know, they was talking about took it up a notch. Pedophilia and niggas beating wives and niggas getting surgeries and and yeah, they was talking crazy going back and forth. So I don't know. You hope it doesn't. They was end talking any. about that nose surgery about Drake, right? BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. So yeah, that song is funny as hell, yo. I ain't gonna lie. But shit's, shit's crazy though. I think um, as long as you know they he made it home safe. That's the most important part. Niggas get him scuffled. He should have known better not to play that shit in Canada. Mm-hmm. Though. Like, come on, bro. Like, and then you did, never, obviously you never did that shit on niggas, purpose. Yeah, niggas, for sure. is, niggas nowadays is fiending to just to get the attention of Drake. Like, and Drake could give you some attention. Like, he'll inbox you with some shit because he's not one of them niggas to shy away from that. I've seen it. But he'll inbox a nigga and be like, yo, salute you for supporting me or whatever. I'll fuck with your shit or whatever. I, I. I so pay your niggas is out here feeding mm-hmm. just for his attention right now. So they they stomped on Rick Ross boys, and I don't <laughs> know. Rick Ross need to buy. He he need to go out there and invest in him some new security. That, that, that was big nigga washed, bro. Shit, Rick Ross could have did better fuck? than that. That <laughs> nigga Rick Ross was ducking. Did you see <laughs> him in the video after that? No, no. <laughs> he was no, in he the cut. Did. He was in the cut. The original video I watched. I'm like, where the fuck is Rick Ross? Until I found the full video, I'm like, oh, there he go. Then, and then I watched it and he disappeared. He damn near ran in that little trailer shit. That shit mm-hmm. had me crying. But uh, Rick Ross, you know, hire some bigger security guards that actually know how to fight. You know, actually. <laughs> what the fuck? A bigger security guard. Get a fighter, nigga. Get somebody that can fight. That well, nigga get yoked about some nigga. bald-headed nigga, bro. <laughs> well, get some frolic nigga that know how to get in. You can get in these niggas, this big nigga. He, he couldn't even get up off the floor. Nigga, that nigga needs a gun. <laughs> Fuck the security guard. That nigga need the strap, bro. Pause. His security need the strap. His what? security need the strap. Why are you shit. walking around unarmed getting your ass beat, nigga? That's crazy. Yeah, you but, look bad right now. But other dudes, I feel like uh, once that's once that's said and done, a couple days, nobody going to be talking about it. But I think Rick Rose, get, you got to step your guard up. Keep your security tight. Step your guard up. And you be good, bro. Drake, stop lacking. You better not go to LA lacking. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's probably uh, uh, Drake going to LA. Better not okay. go to LA lacking. It's a lot of money in LA too, bro. It's you about to miss out. So. LA. But in other news, we have we started to announce a passing of uh industry rapper uh Julio Fulio, I believe his name is. Nah, his name his name not Julio Fulio. It's just Fulio. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that was my Uber driver. <laughs> Yo, Julio was my Uber oh. driver, bro. I that's what the nigga name was Julio. I seen the shit. It said Julio, Julio, and I was like, "Oh, that's the nigga name." Oh shit, I don't really know him like that. His name's just Julio. I don't really know him like that. Nah, 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 no disrespect, but you ain't really know. You ain't know. You ain't know. But uh, <laughs> so he he passed away on his 26th birthday while celebrating it, and he said, and I quote in his last social media post that it's his best birthday ever ever after a fatal shooting in Tampa, Florida. Uh, and the video bo- or, that he made before his birthday, this is the video he made before his birthday. Bring it up. Right what do here. I get for my birthday? <laughs> That's a video of him posting his loc, right? Yeah. Bro, that whole night, bro. He posted his location his entire night, bro. Like, on some real shit, bro. You're a rapper. Posted all the hoes, getting up to the event and all that shit. So, it's like, bro, don't we learn anything from Pop Smoke, bro? God damn, bro, that shit is crazy. You know what's crazy? My mom's, 
she was in LA when Pop Smoke died. And while she was in Tampa, Florida, when this nigga died too, I called. I said, damn, bro, you bad luck. Stop going to <laughs> <laughs> I said, bro, stop going to these cities. These rappers keep fucking, fucking passing away every time. What the fuck is that about? Well, facts, nah, look- that nigga should have learned his lesson. Like, not learn a lesson, bro, but pay attention to what's going Take on, bro. Take heed, bro. It's like, just, come on, bro. PNB Rock. On, his, bro. In his bitch post that was at Roscoe's? Yep. Another prime And example. what happened, bro? Shortly after. Like, got rolled up you, one, bro. And you posting on your... You know you got beef with niggas in the industry, and You know bro. you got ops. And you posting, yeah, I'm having a pool party at such and such. And you telling niggas DM you, you gonna send the address. You don't think one of them niggas gonna just be like, yo, bro, I'm gonna drop the loke everywhere. Mm-hmm. And somebody gonna come catch you, bro. Like, mm-hmm. be be real, bro. And he fucked himself up, bro. I heard it was a bitch involved. Word? Facts. I ain't hear about that. I heard a it bitch was a bitch involved. Loke? I heard facts. So, so we gonna get to that. According according to the news, uh, this well, that morning at 4.40 a.m., uh, a total of four people in two separate cars were shot. Three survived in the parking lot at Holiday Inn in Tampa, Florida. Julio uh, was reportedly kicked out of his DM, uh, Airbnb and had to switch locations. So he was in his second location was the Holiday Inn shit. And one person, one person was killed and three were injured. The, the three that was his friends and the one injured was one was killed was him. So uh, are they still alive? Do we know if they're still alive? I don't, I, I don't know they, if they're I, still I alive. They still alive. They just—I think one of them is in critical condition. The other two it was in. You know what's crazy? I heard he had a beef with another rapper, Young, Young and, Ace. and Ace. Young and Ace. Some shit happened with him where it was the opposite. Three of his homies died, and one <sighs> lived. And Young and Ace was the one that lived. That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was three. I don't know the number, but I heard it was something like that, and it correlated because Fulio had three live, and he was the one that died. Wow. So I heard some shit like that that they had a beef and he could have been behind it, but that's alleged information. So after all of that, this is the car that uh afterwards how it looked. I should got shot up, bro. You see this shit when you're in? No. Shot the fuck said up. it to me? Yeah, so and then you know the screenshot of it right here. Oh bullet hole straight through that shit. Straight through that shit. Straight bullet hole. Damn. He just had a Hyundai Sonata. But I seen somebody post, they said for everything he did and all the deaths he mocked, he uh he had to know that his ops weren't going to take a day off because it was his birthday. He basically exactly. gave them the opportunity and location. Nobody deserved to go out like that, but damn in life you just gotta move smarter than and that's what that's what it's all about, bro. Sadly, he's not going to be able to, you know, right his wrongs in that aspect. But we got to learn from these situations, bro. We got to learn from these situations. I feel like this happened. This happens on a regular. Like, I don't even know if niggas knew where Nipsey was at, but just posted up in front of a storehouse. Bad, some shit could happen, bro. Niggas got to stop posting the lows. Niggas got to stop being places when they're posting. Like, if you're going to post where you at, you better be on your way up out of there, bro, because... You never, or at least post, you never or, know who's sending shit out. Or at least post where you at, but post it like a day or two later. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? A like, couple hours later or some like, shit. You giving up your, your spot. Then uh, and there, bro. And you don't think niggas going to come at you and try to take what you got? Mm-hmm. What's the shit? I'm trying to see the shit that happened with the with the shorty. It says a girl posted Julio showing up to the... Uh, <laughs> Fucking reading me, Julio. <laughs> Julio. Yo, I'm not disrespecting him. Girl post Julio showing up to the new location after they got kicked out of an Airbnb and the police showed up. This is the vid right here. They got a vid? Oh, yeah. She posted it? She posted him it's showing up to the post. B&B. It's in the notes, bro. And, and if you hear it, if you, if, uh, Guess who I got to come? Bro, it says on the you see the video? Mm-hmm. It says Julio Julio. Julio Julio. That's, That's why I thought the nigga name was that. Oh. <laughs> but look, bro. That's crazy. She literally posted the whole outside of the BNB. That's anybody could scope that shit out. Surrounding area, bro. All that bro. anybody could scope that shit out, bro. That should look like a unique type of. Where you going? 
that should look like a unique type of um venue where you could point out and be like, oh, that's a nigga right there. Oh, or, I know. I, I seen that. Sh- I know that gas station or whatever the fuck. Type shit. You know what I mean? You got to be. What a like, huh? You got to be smarter than that. You see, this is why niggas be saying that bitches be setting niggas up. Exactly shit like that, bro. Mm-hmm. And she she posted the whole location. You gonna say guess who guess who popped guess who out? I guess got who, to come guess who I got to come. Uh, 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 and she's out here zooming in and out on all the locations and all. Oh, I was oh yeah. I'm sorry. Either she said she the, the, the store the scene that because he said DM him for the to the location the low, and shit yeah. like that. So he got to know who you are. Somebody got to know you to get that location. Ah, yes. uh, uh, she freely posting. Yeah, whatever. you see the the big highlighted shit in the back. That's what I'm Rainbow saying. Color shit, like, That's somebody what I said. Somebody gonna notice that, bro. That's like, what I said. Real especially shit, if bro. they from crazy. that city, they gonna notice that. Man, and he was home. He was in his hometown. I don't know. Yeah, I think he's from Florida. He from, I think he's from Florida. I don't know Florida? if he's from Tampa, but he definitely from Florida. Them fucking all in Florida niggas got that same hair. That big dread shit. Yeah. Let me see where he was from. But uh, I seen that. Uh, yeah, I seen how Charleston White reacted to his. His shit? What are you saying? That shit had me cry. That shit had me cry all along. I'm about to look at it right now. He from Jacksonville. Oh, he from from Jacksonville, Florida. Florida, Yeah. (laughs) Yo. I have no audio in my video, right? Because I lowered the volume. But your audio is the exact lip sync and everything. Huh? My video I'm watching, I have no audio in it. But when you was playing just now, the audio was matching his words, bro. Word for word. What that nigga chain say? <laughs> nigga Nation? Huh? His chain say Nigga Nation? <laughs> it do. So crazy, bro. Shout out to Charles away. He untouched, bro. Ain't nobody doing shit. Ain't nobody running up. Ain't nobody. It seems like they leaving that man alone. He must be protected by somebody because either that or his day is coming. 
ain't no way this nigga ain't getting. I ain't get touched yet, bro. He be nothing bugging. Nothing, bro. I was watching back that shit he said about Whitney Houston. <laughs> Close to the picture. Oh, that shit. Had Yo, bro, me crying. You know that coked out picture of Britney of us of Britney of Whitney Houston with the brown jacket on, her hair's all fucked up. Yeah, she had brown yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. He posted a picture. <laughs> Nigga wrote as a caption. He said, "It's a bad batch of fentanyl going." <laughs> <laughs> There's a bad batch of fentanyl traveling up the Dallas Fort Worth area, and ain't nobody saying shit about it. <laughs> I said, I'm like, bro, bro picture, I didn't even notice the connection between the picture until I looked at the picture. Yo, and that shit had me bro, Brian's so nigga like, show Whitney Houston coked out. I'm like, that's that's fucked up. But yeah, don't nobody do none of that to, to that man. So I had actually heard that uh, Julio Fulio's come on. I keep calling him Julio Fulio. Bro, that's his name now. On Instagram, Sorry, that's his name, bro. So you can jack it now. Respectfully, that's his name. So Fulio's mom spoke out about the death. Some shit I actually just seen. This actually seems like it's going to be a documentary. So uh, she was telling him to stay out of the beef and shit. I think I seen part of that. She was telling him, I've been trying to tell you to stay out the beef. Really? Stay out the way. Like. Stop making obs. Like, I think she, I think it was some in the lines of like staying out the beef, bro. Uh-huh. I think it's in a lot of that. If you can find it, you'll probably see that. Let me see. That's what it was. Let me see. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read what I'm seeing. It says, Sandrika's maze, the mother of late rapper Julio Fulia. Oh, maybe that was the name. She had outraged over reactions to her son's death and announced a documentary focusing on her, on his life story. Julio Fulia, whose real name is Charles Jones, was fatally shot in the parking lot of the Holiday Inn tampa north on june 23rd he was celebrating his 26th birthday three others were injured in the shooting r.i.p son may r.i.p son may said at the start of her uh message on instagram she didn't set a documentary about her son's life is coming soon the story the story that only i can tell because i know the truth from the fakes i think i'm the only mother that keeps it real while most uh, while most others know damn well what was going on with their own sons may said something like she was sitting shot she said, the same woman that was buying your CDs for the kids. Let's not forget that, May said. These same women's sons did the same thing you did. This, did these, same, these, these same women's sons did the same thing you did when tiff, with tiff for tat on this drill music in which I never condoned. She's kept going, bro. She's, oh, yeah, here you go. I think it says, I stayed on you about this beef, cussed you out, bet you to uh, take stuff down when I was shot eight times. I spared their lives, even though mine was changed, his, May his said. His moms was shot eight times? Yeah, it says, I, I, I stayed on you about this beef, cussed you out, begged you to take stuff down, and when I was shot eight times, I spared their lives, even though mine was changed. In April, Jones said there have been multiple attempts on my life on Instagram. He spoke about one of these attempts on a on a podcast in 2022 as he recalled being shot as he left a recording studio. So I guess now you're talking about Julio Julio, but yeah, bro. It seems like it's a documentary coming with the, uh, his mother's, his mom is consent. Like it seems like she's going to have, she's the one telling the story, telling the story. Exactly. She's the voice behind the, what is it called? The narrator. Correct. And according to the, they saying Julio Julio, his op shot his mom's eight times. Damn, that's crazy. How you, bro? You I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard allegedly. I heard allegedly. Uh, they shot thirty two at him. Got thirty two shots was let off. Yeah, I, th- I heard that. Too. That's what I, I heard. heard that too. And I now you see that video too of the, of them like you hear the gunshots, but it's not. Yeah, you don't yeah. see it. You don't yeah. see nothing. You yeah, I heard that. that. Yeah, I didn't know if that was real or not. If that was whatever. But I heard somebody in the beginning. He was like, oh, shit, they. Yeah. And you heard AR. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, yeah, they, they going crazy. That shit there. sounded like Fortnite, bro. It didn't it sound like 32 rounds. Yeah. That sounded like way more. Yeah, it did. It did sound like more than 32. I was watching that shit. I was like, nah, this shit sound like a fucking battlefield, bro. <laughs> that ass. Sound like war zone, I was like, what the fuck did he do? But damn, nigga, if you shot out the nigga moms, he must have really did some fucked up shit. Uh. Yeah, he must have really did some fucked up shit. God. So, uh, Young and Ace. Yeah, Young and Ace. What I said. Uh, uh, 
rapper Young and Nace admits to putting a hit on Julio Julio that the same day he passed away. Young and Ace dropped Do It, quote unquote, the song's name, a direct diss track of Julio Julio after his death earlier today. Let's see if I can pull that up, what they was chatting about. I should not play a lot. That was a quick little snippet of what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, so he ain't sparing niggas. I'm spraying shit on site if we get into it. Yep. Then he said he told them niggas do it. It's not like he said a name. You don't know if that's really, you know, to them, to you know, to him. But shit, hell of a fucking coincidence. I'll tell you that shit. And mind you, I think to I think right now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Young and Ace is his biggest op right now. Mm-hmm. He one of his Julio's biggest ops right now. And then I seen him post on under the post of when he passed away. And he was like, oh. It's a, either him or one of his other biggest hobbies. Like, oh, it's a good day in America. Mm-hmm. Or some shit. Like, I was like, oh, these niggas. They just commented just... that after he died? Bro, they commented that shit after he died. Once the post was made, they said it's a good day in America. They posted on these stories, happy oh, and shit. Like shit. <laughs> but, but mind you, he was already talking about these niggas, dead, dead brothers, dead nephews, kids, aunts, fact, uncle, I mean... whatever they is. He talking about, if they eat dead, he talking about it in music. And songs, he's he's at they grave sites damn near. Where he's doing shit like Bro, that? It's it's a, I think he got a music video in a grave site or some shit like that, talking shit about somebody who died. I don't know if he was at that person's grave site, but I seen the video. But he was rapping about the person who died. You I'm talking like, about oh, Fulio? Yeah, Fulio. I ain't gonna say he got what he got, just like coming to him. But like he did. When you doing shit like that, bro? It's like you calling for like nigga you. Calling a Grim Reaper, bro. It's like you, you yeah. want the nigga to come for you, bro. Like you doing stupid shit like that. It's bro. bad energy. You should have, yo, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He where he fucked up at is when, when his mom's got shot at, and you still doing that, bro. It's clip. After that, nigga, I'm done. You shoot at my mom's. But, it's but, crazy, but nigga. Tariq said, "Y'all may think it's so easy to get out this life. It's not. It's I'm, a lot of shit you got to get through just to get out the life." That's a fact. And that shit probably going to come back to you even when you get out the life. That's a fact. So you never know if he would have got out the life. Niggas would have still probably did it. Niggas still probably would have. It was like, even when you out the life, you're not like, really out the life. Even when you out the life, you're not out the life. Niggas still would have been on his biscuit regardless keep it real. if you out the life or not. You did what you did, nigga. Get, keep it real. You Once you in that life, you really can't get out. Like there's It's no like blood out. in, blood out. It's, it's mm-hmm. literally no way out, bro. Like Once you in that kind of shit, there's no way out. You, you done did too much, said too much. Fucked around too much, played too much, bro, and then that's it. You can't, you can't get past that. Nigga, my grandmother told me it's only two ways out: life or jail. I mean, yeah, like a death or jail. Two ways out, that motherfucker. I hate that it's not a third. Shit, did we get a third? Well, you can snitch. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, nigga, what's your life looking like after though? You should have stayed in jail. (laughs) uh, You should have stayed in jail. jail. Just stayed in jail and. Got duped. <laughs> got but duped. From what I've seen, that they they said that one of uh, Fulio's ops, uh, well, his one of his new friends, quote unquote, um, one of his new wasn't his new friend after all, because he was hanging with one of Fulio's ops uh, the time he was, you know, before then, before the killing and all that shit. So picture surfaced of one of his friends hanging with one of his ops, and shit like that. So I seen that also, but this whole situation is crazy. I feel like. The drill rap is persuading most of the shit that's going on again. Uh, you talk about dead people in raps. I never knew that was a thing until drill rap started coming about for real. Once before drill rap, can't name the last time I heard dead people talking being talked about for real. But uh, I never even heard of him until he passed for real. I've had heard of him, but I don't I've really know. Seen him. I've music, seen him. But... I just never knew his name. Heard of him, never listened to his music though. I was never one of them. I don't... That Florida be trying too hard to sound like New York drill, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And I don't even listen to New York drill. And I'm from New York. That's a fact. I don't listen to music at all. 
Listen, man. Rest in peace to Julio Fulio, man. Unfortunate situation, but no, nah, I mean, if I'm being honest, it's just gonna keep happening. This is just like you know, it's like the new norm now type shit. So you know it's crazy, not even to sound like dark or anything. But I was thinking about that P and B shit and the um the takeoff shit. Probably like a few days before this happened. And I'm like, damn, I wonder like who's I wonder next? what's gonna happen next type shit, cause you was you was asking who's next? Not asking, but you know, cause I, I bro, you know it's not really an end to this shit. It's like rappers been dying since before we were around, you feel me? So it's just, you know, when I get into my deep feelings and my deep thoughts, and I'll be like, damn, like, you keep seeing it. So it's like, how are we going to put a stop to it? But I don't know, bro. It's definitely fucked up. Rest in peace, Fulio. Rest in peace, Fulio. Uh, so in other news, we see, I seen something about Tupac's accused murder. Uh, the Keefe D. Davis secures a $750,000 hearing bond. And he was set for possible release now. So uh I only wrote that because I'm like, it's so crazy. We were just speaking about the shit. We were just speaking about the shit last week. We were just speaking about the shit last week. And now he's damn near about to get bond for the whole situation. Do you think the bond is justifiable for what he what he's been he's done so far, or do you do y'all think they got it all wrong type shit? I don't know, bro. Listen. Remember that time during the same uh, segment, you had asked me, do I trust our uh, justice system? Mm-hmm. And then I had said no, and then we started busting all after. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I don't think, I just feel like it's like, you know what I mean? We 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 didn't predict this, but we kind of knew this. Like, it's kind of like, he said, I mean, he wasn't really the murderer. He wasn't the one who pulled the trigger, but he's admitted to being in the car. He's admitted to being like, Basically, the orchestrator behind this shit. So if you let him walk for seven hundred fifty bands, you know what I mean. I don't know how you can just say, nigga, "Yeah, go." Some, somebody gonna somebody yeah. gonna do this, bro, nigga, you're right? In the life, bro. But you exactly, you're exactly. In the life. You gonna get got, bro. But he's 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 dying from cancer. He had made a claim talking about when he was in jail that uh, it made his cancer come back. It made his cancer come back. I guess yeah. I didn't know he was a reminiscent. That's <laughs> what I heard. Seen that shit, seen that shit right? <clears throat> so I don't. I don't know how how the fuck it, being incarcerated made your, your cancer come back. That's that's some new science shit. I, shit. I, I some new science shit. I heard. I never heard no shit like that before. But um, I think Keefe D. He he uh, he scheduled for release, I believe. So or a possible release. I don't think the nigga should be released. I think he should stay where he at. No matter if the cancer or not, you know, if he pass away, he pass away. That's what happens when you did what you did. Uh, he see to me, uh, I feel like Keefe D, he's trying to just do his best to get out of this whole situation. That's what all it look like. And again, he tried to, this whole publicity stunt with doing the interviews and exposing all the secrets of people and trying to, you know, tell all the backstories or stories that people ain't know about and shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. He just, to me, before even now, he. I just feel like he on the media chase to keep his name buzzing or whatever. Yeah, but, but like I said before, with the Fulio shit, bro. What happens when you come out of this life? He, what you think gonna happen to you, bro? Like, right. you don't think there's niggas that still feel like, yo, bro, you. You got this done to Tupac. I still feel for him. Shit, nigga. I know I do, nigga. That's it. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, bro. What you about to do to him? What I'm about, nigga? We got to drop. We about to. We got. We about to load out, nigga. We about to go outside. <laughs> I'm sending the blisses. We got to drop respectfully, but yeah, man. I agree. I agree. Listen, we're not, these, we're not being for real, though. You too. Yeah, we're not being for real. Please, please, bro. We just reached <laughs> 200 subscribers. You know how they be doing Tell us me. on YouTube, yo, bro. bro. They took the TikTok down. Yes, nigga, yeah. bro, bro. They, uh, I don't even know. Nigga, how. we. I don't. Yeah. Did, did, did you I, ever make the other the new one? I'm gonna do it because we I need TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> we we, <laughs> we need TikTok. We need TikTok. Wait, was, I, was I not supposed to say that? What? Nah. Of course, you say whatever you want, nigga. Okay. Nah. Yeah. That's crazy, nigga. I'm sitting there. I'm like, I ain't yo, bro. No, he told me. Yo, yeah. I, I meant to text you. I never texted you about it. Nah. Bro, you came to my crib and I knew about it, bro. 
Bro, I already forgot to bring it up. Yes, bro. Yeah, and I'm bro. like, yo, bro, what the fuck happened to the? I'm like, I don't see the videos and I can't see them no more, bro. Like, because, you know, I repost all of them. I'm like, why nice. the fuck can I see it, bro? What they said, what they said it was for guidelines or what? I don't, I don't know. Some remember copyright. I don't know. Copyright, shit, bro. Bro. They, they, they clipped that. They clipped that shit, though. I know that for sure. They clipped that whole shit talking about. Um, I see. I was searching up how to get it back, but I think it was like you got to uh, apply. You got to send them an email or whatever saying how you want you to do send it or whatever. Email. Like, you always got to do mad extra shit, bro. Just give me my shit back or give me a suspension date. They ain't, yeah, they ain't take it for nothing. They just took the whole account, bro. The whole account, bro. The whole account, the whole account bro. Bitch ass niggas. Yeah, but I don't know what that fuck was TikTok right now. We gonna speak about how Polo G Mom done shot at his sister. Yo, this was crazy. I, I didn't even thought like I thought I was reading it wrong, at least like four times, bro. Because it says Polo G's mom admits the shooter at her daughter after disturbing video surface of the attack. Baby, I'm a damn good shot. That's what she said about popping her own daughter, bro. Wait, her daughter got hit. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, she hit. I honestly don't think she got hit, but I think I know for sure she said that, like she she was damn close or whatever. I don't know. I don't think she got hit though. I don't think she got hit. Sure. I don't think she got hit. I think she was saving her, bro. But she, I think her daughter wasn't retreat. She was running away, like yo. I, I and then in the video, bitch was dodging bullets. In the video, it show her just bah, bah. But this is a video over right here. Let me bring it up to you, right? Fire that Oh, she running too. Oh, look. She over there. Mm-hmm. Your mom's though, bro. <laughs> That's wild. Shot right at her. It looked like she fired one 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 shot though. It didn't look like she OD. It looked like she fired one shot, but she still shot at her daughter. That's the and um it says if you recall that she uploaded an edited version of this same video and implied that her daughter had the mental issues and, and you know it's crazy. I that I seen that bro. That's the part I seen where it was like her daughter was going crazy or some shit. And I it, seen that. I seen that first before facts, I seen anything. Facts. Then I started seeing everything else. <laughs> you, yeah, I, you know, this is new to me. This like, is new to you. Yeah, this is new to me, bro. Like, you I. Know, you, you know what is not new to you? Yeah, I remember when Kanan shot Sean. <laughs> 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 when Kanan, Kanan shot his own son, bro. Nigga said. Oh, nigga said. Nice. Nigga said. You ain't kill you. I know you ain't kill your uncle Jesus. You love your Uncle G, huh? You love your Uncle G so much. <laughs> you love your Uncle G so much. Yo, she did some power shit. What he I did? never. He, he got up and walked away, and nigga pulled the trigger. He said, "What?" Shot that nigga, bro. Is that... And then he was about to call. He was about to call somebody. Yeah. He said, he said "Who you call?" call? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna call mommy? You gonna call mommy? You gonna call Where? mommy? You, said, you gonna call mommy? <laughs> nigga said something about you was never my son. Pop, nigga, right in his dome. You said he was never my son. Bow, shy Whoa. shit. She's on some real power, gangs. She on her rock shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is gangster. How you do that to your kid, bro? Shit, that's. Crazy. You think she really from the streets? You really gotta be from the streets, if nigga. You what? Like you that, shot at your your blood, nigga. You think your mama shoot at you? Nah, hell no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how crazy that is, bro. Damn, and she said, baby, I'm a good shot. That's kind of crazy, bro. Nice. So, so think she missed on purpose? From what I'm reading yeah, here, it I, says, I don't think she really wanted to shoot her. But I'm reading here. Remember, says, oh, remember Ghost put the gun at Tariq. Mm-hmm. He ain't really shoot her. Remember that, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes, niggas, when you grow up in our life, it's probably tough love. But God, from, from from what I'm reading right here, it says, um, it says, the uh, apologies, mom. 
took the Instagram to confirm she did fire a weapon while in pursuit of her daughter, who is 27 years old. And I quote, this is what I believe this is what she said. She said, and now y'all know how, how, how she got the video. I sent it to her dad because she lied to him. And I, and she said, I shot at her 16 times. Stacy wrote on her Instagram story. However, uh, Lilani, hey, uh, says her mother has been sending the video around to her friends. How can I leak someone? How can I leak Imagine. a video from someone's personal ring camera that only uses that only she has the access to Nalani wrote on X, which is Twitter. Someone I'm not contacted with after two months. You personally sent me the video, sent out the video thinking it was funny. Uh, your homies leaked it into blogs. Taking take accountability. This isn't the first time these are uh, these two argued publicly. Lalani accuses her mother of being mentally unstable. Claims she shot at her uh, at her son before, which is Polo G. No, she it says, says well, one of her sons. One of her sons, most likely Polo. I don't really know the other nigga, but. She says, uh, "I never seen I never seen a woman want to be forty five years old, gang, gang chef, uh, chief thugs, thug. chief thug, so bad." Lonnie wrote, "I never seen someone so jealous of their own flesh and blood." I simply defended myself. She continued, uh, "We extended our prayers to this family during this difficult time." Uh, 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 uh. So she's just she just think it's okay that she on her rock shit, rocking Monet shit from Power. <sighs> She yeah, out here shooting gangster. at her kids. She shot at both of her kids, bro. Both of her kids. That's she missed wild. both times. She ain't no Damn. good shot. Imagine she'll do to the ops. <laughs> 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 Imagine she do to the ops. I do not want to be for Polo G's moms. She came out. But that shit was balking, too. It was one, but that shit was loud, bro. She let that motherfucker go. <clears throat> and she was running after shooting. Then she told her, come back, bitch. Because when she, when she started walking back to the gate, uh, she's turned around like, come back then. I'm like, oh, nah, that's your daughter, bro. What makes you go to that extent? What was the argument about? Bro? Like, what did she do, right? That was wild to me. That's your wild. That's uh, your wild. Polo G, I don't know if he spoke on this, but uh, do y'all think he should speak on this or he should just keep quiet? As a, I think he should just shut up. Yeah, keep only, quiet, bro. He should only say something if he was the son, the son that got shot at. If he wasn't, just keep quiet, bro. If he wasn't, Do just you keep think? quiet. Yeah. You know, niggas already saying you fell off game. So if you want my Stay honest off. advice. <laughs> Stay off, bro. <laughs> nah. I, oh. Yeah. So. But uh, I see. Let's move on to other stuff. I see uh, Jack. What's his name? Dorhey. Dorhey. Dorthy. Dorthy. Dorthy from Wizard of Oz. Dorthy. <laughs> he uh he attempted to jump uh, another streamer named Neo. So these are two streamers that attempted, you know, they've been having beef and back and forth for a minute. Uh, I don't know why we always end up having to talk about some streamers either getting beat up, fighting, or get hit in some type of way. It's never nothing positive. It's never nothing positive. Yeah, There's always somebody getting their ass beat up or <laughs> jump or some shit. So, uh, Apparently, I, I believe they was at the bare knuckles fight event, and you know, I guess they seen each other, had some words with each other, boom, and it popped off ever since then. So I'm gonna show. I got the Neon's point of view from Neon's uh, stream, point of view from his stream, and then I got Jack's point of view from his stream, and then we're gonna go from there. So this is Neon's point of view. A big doofy nigga. <laughs> this is Jack point of view. Oh, oh smack shit on his phone. <laughs> this is Jack point of view. He ran. He ran for the nigga. <laughs> nigga Leon. Punch that nigga, bro.
Yo. Yo. You seen that white nigga with, that had his shirt unbuttoned come and sneak me on? So this is what I stumbled upon, upon first. So I'm like, oh, both stream is fighting, both stream is getting on and in these situations. Um, to me, it's I feel like they damn near do it all for clout, low key. Like the more the more publicity they get from the negative drama or the negative shit going on, boom, the more attention they get, right? So Neon at the Barry Knuckles event, he was walking out. I don't know where he was walking, but he's walking to somewhere. And a fan actually attacked him. So this is the video of the fan attacking him when he walked. He hit him in the red. He hit him in the red. That nigga booked it. That nigga was booking it. He <laughs> booked it. They caught him though. And then this is, I guess this is a more clear video. This when he approached Jack Dorothy. This before the jump in situation. Look, he hit he hit Jack and then walked away, ran away. And Jack was punching his security guard in the face. Leon, that big light skinned nigga, he was mm-hmm. punching him in his face. I seen Jack swinging on somebody. He not even like that. That's the funny part. None Leon. of these niggas are, Leon. bro. Fuck. I hold it already. So uh they had the so, huh? So they had the scuffle at the uh the bare knuckles fire event. Uh this is another clip I got. And where he was looking for Jack. And then that's what led up to that part. So he was actually looking for Jack. So he called uh, to me from from the looks of it, it looked like he calls in the whole. All right, let me go press him on some shit because I feel like they've been talking they've been talking shit back and forth on Twitter all this time. Just they first time seeing each other in person in mad long. So they already got you know beef low key. So now he he tight because he got smacked already by some random fan nigga. And now Jack is over there. In the event, and he was talking shit and all that shit, so he feel like Jack is the one who told dude to go smack him and run and all that shit. So he went up to press Jack like, "Yo, what's the point of that? What's the point of that?" That's what caused the whole scuffle. And then Jack got mad after, and then that's when they ran down on him outside. He chased so, him, waited for him until he was lagging. And, and then after that, Neon after they got ran down outside, Neon actually posts this says this. So apparently he's saying Jack was taking underage girls on yachts and shit like that. Uh, and I think this is the last one. Jack was actually walking. At, this is on Jack's point of view now. When he was walking away from the situation, a, a kid comes up to him and 
Oh, I don't even. I posted the wrong one. Fuck it. But a kid came up to him and was like, and called him pussy boy. And then Jack pushed him or whatever. And then his same his security guard slammed him or whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> slammed the kid or whatever. He was like, "You touch me first, ah, ah, you touch me first. Because the the boy came up to Jack and pushed him. Then then was like pussy boy, uh-huh. and you know it caused that. So at the end of that night, at the end of night one. Uh, Kick, which is the brand that both of them represent for their streaming companies, banned both streamers, which is Neon and Jack from Kick. And uh, afterwards, like a couple days afterwards, I believe they end up unbanning both of them, and they end up getting their kicks back. And I just feel like after all that, just leave it alone, bro. Jack, Jack done got smacked on his stream. Some nigga smacked fire out him too. Like he was sitting down. He he literally like planned it. He told the camera to point to him. He pointed to the camera and he's like, I'm gonna smack my He sat there like this. The nigga got up. Boom! The nigga Jack fell back. So, he's fell pussy. right back. What yeah, you he's to, pussy. Fell right back. That <laughs> shit had to be crying. So it's not his first time getting into these types of situations. And what he do after that? Beat on him. Yeah, nothing. He just was sitting there. He just was sitting there, bro. What you would do after that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm shooting that nigga. My, my fault. I can't say that. Damn, bro. This nigga trying to get niggas indicted, bro. I'm not doing that. This nigga come back to the shoot with poor rat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. Niggas, says, niggas, niggas be embarrassing, bro. All the streamer shit. I feel like I said this from day one, Kyle. All right, this is another YouTuber, I guess. His name is Prom. So Prom is the nigga who slapped Jack. I'm going to show you. Wait, isn't that Neon's bitch? The one I was just talking? Wait, hold on. This was in his crib? <laughs> they got into a fight after? Some little nigga stepped up. For, for Jack? Jack, he stepped up for Jack. But Jack ain't, Jack ain't do nothing. He ain't do nothing after that. He just got slapped. <laughs> and that was it. It was a done button for my boy. He just got slapped. He laid back. And then the security guards took the bull out. And then after they, they took him out, he just like he's a bitch. He's twenty five years old. He's twenty five years old. So nigga, go nigga, what that, that mean? Up. Nigga, how old is he? Nigga, don't even matter, nigga. Nigga, you got your shit smacking. You ain't do that. You don't want to do no, no get back. It don't even matter how old the nigga is, bro. Respectfully, who? And what's his name? That's Jack, Jack Dorothy. Dorothy? Mm-hmm. No points, nigga. No points. That's what makes niggas gets robbed when you just, you know what I mean? You just got that reputation of being a bitch. Niggas going to try you, bro. Fuck out of here. This streamer shit, I've been said bad, bad, bad energy around it. The only one who don't be having bad shit happen to them is Cots and that, bro. Nah, he be having bad shit happen And when they do, I feel like, but it never sticks, you know? It's never no embarrassing shit like this. Like, he never getting slapped up and getting, you know what I mean, bullied and shit. And People do try to come to him, though. Like that bitch I was saying, he paid what five bands or some shit. Yep, definitely remember that. He had the beef with Kanye too. Remember that shit? <laughs> <laughs> so this nigga Kanye, he's not my side. <laughs> nigga, so he sent me the wrong clothes. That's uh, crazy. I think I think uh, this whole Jack Dorothy shit. Uh, if you know, they got they tick, they got they band, uh they kicked back at least because they was. Then they're about to be packed up over that shit after the whole fight situation. They banned them for, I guess, a night, a couple hours or whatever, gave them the shit back. But uh, at the end of the day, I feel like if y'all want to squabble, y'all, I don't really know y'all can set some shit up. Y'all niggas got bread. Y'all, y'all boxing got matches, bread. whatever box. it is. I be seeing Jack Dorothy. He be trying to box and shit like that. Uh, Neon, he Neon needs to learn to fight. I see his security guard always tell him, like, yo, you need to stop letting niggas bitch you. Uh, 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 and then, tells him that? Yeah, yeah security guard tell him that. And then he was like, because you don't be standing on shit. Huh? 
the tall light skin, yeah, the light skin, right? The light skin, Leon. And then he he was telling him like, oh, um, like yo, uh, I think Neon was telling him like, yo, next time some night do some shit, I'm gonna stand up to him. Ah, ah. And I guess this the next time was a Jack Dorsey shit. That's crazy. But uh, and other news. And other news. Talking about speaking, topic. trans transition in the boxing, bro. Uh, Tank Davis. The newly 30 and 0, 30 and 0 after he beat Frank Martin ass. He beat Frank Martin ass, bro. At what he called it too. Eighth round knockout, nigga. He said it. How you do it in the eighth round, bro? He called eighth or he called ninth. And then Ryan Garcia called eighth. Was that what it was? I That's think what it was called. I, I think Ryan Garcia. No, I, think, I think I he think he called Tate eighth. Called eighth, Tate bro. Called eighth sure? in, the, in the in the press conference. In the after they face off shit, he called eighth round knockout. I thought Ryan said eighth and Tank said ninth. I, I'm not too sure. I I that's what I'm. I, I thought I seen that. Either way, thirty and 0, 30 and zero, fresh over thirty and zero with twenty eight knockouts. Uh, it says Javante Davis report, reportedly confirmed he wants to fight Vasil Lemonchenko. Lemonchenko next, and negotiations are actually underway right now. Uh, Tank versus Loma. You the best boxer ever. Who? Tank. Is Tank the best boxer ever? Yeah. No, but he on his way there, bro. Mini Mike Tyson, nigga. He definitely on his way there. Mini Mike Tyson? Mini oh, Mike Tyson, oh, bro. That's what they call him, but they call him Mini Floyd. Mini Mike Tyson. Or? He can't be Mini Floyd. Floyd is Mini. Yeah, already. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he do got power like Tyson, though. He be knocking niggas the fuck out, bro. 28 knockouts is wild, bro. Imagine getting knocked out 28 times. Out of 30 fights? Nigga, you different. So, yeah. And that's that's this is actually a fight that uh we spoke about on a pod and we actually spoke about um we actually spoke about what people were saying what they wanted to see next with Tank Davis. And a lot of people had uh mentioned Loma, uh a lot of people were saying Shakur Stevenson. I was an advocate for that as well. So uh isn't didn't Shakur Steve didn't Shakur Stevenson he's not he's not fighting no more right now? Didn't he say he's like retiring? Did he say that? He said that? He said something about being retired? He did? He said that, but uh, he wasn't. He wasn't serious for real. He wasn't serious for real. Hell no. Nigga, he, he knows he got to see Tank. He was, he was only saying that because niggas have been ducking him. He yeah. was supposed to fight Boo Tennis. Didn't happen. Duck. He was supposed to fight Loma. Didn't happen. Duck. He was supposed to fight somebody else. Didn't happen. Duck. And... He just is like, fuck it, I'm going to retire because nobody want to fight me. Mm-hmm. Everybody's scared to fight him. So he's he only said he re- he retired because niggas was ducking him. He posted he posted already at least fought by now. Mm-hmm. At least fought by now. And his last fight was a month ago. So he only he said that, you know, just because niggas been ducking him, that's why he retired. He ain't actually retired though. He just I, I feel like they just waiting for he just waiting for a good opponent to say yes. Like only niggas who just trash or not the name or not gonna build the anticipation for the fight is gonna jump out there right now, of course, because they want the name. Well, but, I heard, I heard that, uh, I heard that um, Tank and uh, what you call it, Shakur Stevenson can't fight right now because of some type of contract, so some of a contract, and you know that they're saying if it was to happen, it definitely would have happened now. Will probably happen in like you know year, year and a half down the line. So. Yeah, I know that's definitely one. You know, uh, Tank had Tank had a list. I'm not too sure what the list is, but I know Loma was on the list. He did say Shakur Stevenson, so he said a possible rematch with Ga- uh, Ryan Garcia. Also, yeah. Yeah. didn't he say that in the that. conference? He said that. Yeah, yeah, he said that in the conference too. Thanks. He said he'll beat Ryan ass again. Yeah, yeah he was. I beat his ass again. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. So, the shirt uh, that Ryan had on during the fucking um, fight was hilarious too. Yeah, that's the shirt he had on. Yeah, he I'm said sure Tank either. in the front of the shirt said Tank's number one fan, right? And in the back of the shirt said rematch me, bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's a, that'll be a good rematch, but they'll have to meet in the they'll have to meet in middle ground because the rehydration clause fucked up the fight on Ryan's mm-hmm. behalf, folks. Based off what he's saying. Uh, so that nigga can't. He's suspended too. He can't fight yeah, for what is it? Two years or a year? A year. He's suspended a year. He got to pay like ten mil or some shit like that. But it says it says right here on uh, if you want to transition over from Tank real fast, it says David Haney and Ryan Garcia actually agreed to run it back in twenty twenty five. Um, 
I think I don't know which one of them said it, but it said it says let's run it back clean. So I think uh, I think Devin said that. Devin said that, and Devin got uh he's officially undefeated again. We spoke about that last week before Facts. we got to he was celebrating. Yeah, he was dancing. He, was and he right. still got his fucking ass beat. So uh, this was Haney actually on a possible rematch. So he Haney actually said. He said, "No bullshit, though. I'm happy. I'm happy it wasn't a DQ because I didn't want to win like that. Once I, the suspension is over at Ryan Garcia, let's run it back clean uh, on even playing field against the biggest fight in boxing." And then Ryan Garcia replied to that. He said, "Okay, Devin, I forgive you. Let's run it back. Love wins. Hashtag biggest fight boxing. Remember." And then, yeah, that was. It. I'll play. I'll play the video. Still got beat the fuck up though. Yeah, he definitely still got beat the fuck up. So yeah, he still got beat up, and he can't he can't take that L away from the hood. Even Ryan said, "You uh, the hood remember that L, bro? Nigga, it's on pay per view. <laughs> There's a video of you getting beat up everywhere on the internet. I'm just on bro. camera, bro. You ain't denying it. <laughs> Once niggas catch it on their phones, you ain't bro, it, it, in like the first thirty to forty five seconds of the fight, nigga, it, was about, it looked like it was about to be over. Mm-hmm. He rocked him with a with a left hook, boop, nigga, off dazed, rip. dazed, stunned him. So I do, I ain't gonna mind, I ain't gonna mind the rematch because I want <laughs> it'll be funny as shit if Ryan put that L back on his resume after a year. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell that nigga retire, bro. You gonna tell that nigga retire? You gonna be like, yo, if you lose, you gotta retire, bro. I'm better than you. Him and uh, Errol Spence got the ass whooped this year. Whooped yeah, and Errol we, Spence got whooped this year. Or Errol last Spence year? got whooped last year. Was it last year? I think it was last. Maybe the latter half of last year, or definitely the early part of this year. But I was fucking pissed off when uh, Frank Martin had him backing him and promoting the fight. I'm like, nigga, I'm not hanging around nobody who just got they fucking ass whooped, nigga. Wow, so you could come and give me that bad energy and I could get knocked the fuck out? And that's what happened. Yeah. Bro, Tate caught that little nigga on the ropes too many times, bro. Bro, he, he was chopping him down every time he got to the rope too. Just straight. And mind you, it looked like what Devin Haney was doing to Ryan Garcia every time Ryan was turning his back. When they when they'll clinch up or some shit, he turned his back and uh, Devin Haney started chopping his ribs or something. It kind of reminded me of that, and um, I felt like I did feel like Frank was holding his own in that fight. Though. Frank had the votes, bro. Like Frank uh, was winning the fight, damn man, until that, that was. till that round, yep. till that well, till the later round, till like the six six round type. Frank shit. was Start telling him, that, and after the fucking fight, he was telling me, was like, "Yo, bro, I was tapping your chin, I was dead hitting your chin." And Tank was like, "You never touch me, you never touch me, you never, t- you never hit me." A lot this, of, a lot of, a lot of his hits didn't land though. He threw was, a lot more. Dead, throughout the course of videos, the fight. They, they, in the fight, you, he dead hit him like twice. He caught him. Frank Martin hit, his t- uh, hit that Tank nigga, twice. Yeah, facts. They, he dead nah, hit him. Frank that rocked him one yeah, time, bro. one time. He rocked facts. him one good time. And Tank, <laughs> Tank saying, "You never hit me. <laughs> you ain't touched my chin. You never hit me." <laughs> nah, he dead got tapped, bro. Mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> he, can't, he, can't, he, can't, he, can't, he can't even say nothing about the black eye because that black eye came from a headbutt. Yeah. So he came like because I think uh fucking Frank went up like this and headbutted the shit out of him and then yeah, that's yeah, how he got the, right here. The, yeah. the, the the little scar right there. But uh so far I think I like that uh tank and Loma fight. Any any that's predictions? The fight I Huh? Tank versus Loma predictions? 
Tank versus Loma predictions, and when do you guys want to see the fight? How soon do you guys want to see that fight? I, I say give it an end of the year, maybe maybe a winter fight. Winter nice. fight? Yeah, it'd be nice. Bro. Give me like Tank, November, December type fact. shit. November, December Tank just had a fight. He, he just whipped that nigga ass. Now He's recuperate. Yeah, facts. Get back, get back. Loma it's going to be another fight. long training Loma just camp. had a fight like last month too, or a month before last, and he, Coming off a he, won the cha- he won the champion. There you go. He won the one of the champions. End of the year, maybe beginning next mm-hmm. year, twenty twenty five. I say beginning. Any, uh, any, you any. Know, I, I, for me personally, I don't any know. Loma's a great boxer. He's a great boxer. That nigga tactical while he boxed. Uh, I watched him and Devin Haney. I thought he beat Devin Haney, but <laughs> the vote, the judges gave it to Devin Haney. Um, he won two. To, I'm, two gonna go, I'm gonna go with Tank. I'm gonna go with Tank, but I won't be surprised if Loma takes it in decision. Mm, the Tank let it go that far. Better not let Tank take it that far. I'm I'm taking Tank. What round y'all calling? What? What round? I'm taking. I'm taking Tank in the tenth. I'm taking a decision either way. You taking decision? Decision either way. Yeah, I'm taking Tank in the ninth. Taking tank in the night. Yeah, either night. I'm a bad man, nigga. What's up? I got tank in the tenth, bro. I got got tank in the ninth. Yeah. (laughs) I think it's a knockout, bro. Yeah, I call call it knockout. It should be. It should be. It should be a decision match for me. I Uh, say a decision because Loma's a way better boxer than. I feel like he's going to be the best boxer since Isaac Cruz, and that was uh, uh, Tank's last. Remember, but he ain't got he ain't. Tank got power, bro. Coming from when he fought um Haney, and remember Ryan was saying Haney ain't really got no power to him. His punches don't really hit hard. I'm, I think Tank will knock this nigga out. Tank got bro. a lot of power. Tank Back. especially, bro. Tank got I don't know. He got a he kind of got like this. He says it's like it's different for every fight, but he kind of is it's kind of repetitive almost the way like he gonna let you do your thing, bro. But you know. He gonna play no, defense. Yeah, but no, the walk down is Loma, gonna come, bro. Loma, tank is tank, but Loma is a nigga who knows the walk down already. He know he he damn near do the walk down himself, in a way. It's just he does it in a way to where he'll gas himself out to where he'll rather be down in the fight and come back from the fight. So even if he he's gonna let tank, he's gonna force tank to change his direction of the fight during the fight. I feel like Loma adapts to who he fighting every time he fighting. When I see him fighting versus Devin Haney, every round he adapted to everything Devin Haney was doing. Yeah, it's just his decision. You know, the Franks, the uh, the Frank standards gave it to uh which we call it. Mm-hmm. But it's it's gonna be a good fight though, I ain't gonna lie. But it's gonna come down to defense, bro. Who dodging yeah, hits, who not getting hit. Defense. Yeah. To defense. Yeah. Uh so and other news, let's move on from boxing. Let's go on to the UFC now. More fighting. Uh, my son Israel Adesanya will be making his return to the UFC ring, UFC ring after he said he's going to take a long awaited uh, rest or break or whatever. But he came back a couple months later. And after his loss versus Sean Strickland, and he lost the champion versus Sean Strickland. Uh, I think it was second round, third round. One of them, too. I know it was a TKO, though. It was, I think it was second round. I don't know. Second round, third round. I know Sean Strickland was wilding him up, though. He, the fuck up the uh, he actually came back and he's fighting for the same champion. Sean Strickland had one and lost to this person. He lost to uh, Duplessis. So uh, I feel like Duplessis, uh, his name is Dresus Duplessis. Where the fuck is he from? He from He's from South Africa. He's a white guy from South Africa, though. And that's what ignited. He tough. Word. <laughs> he tough. That's what ignited the whole rivalry between the two. So it says Adesanya, who resides out of uh, Auckland, New Zealand, hasn't fought since he dropped his title in a stunning upset versus Sean Strickland in September. After the loss, Adesanya suggested that he might not compete again until 2027. A stance has been backed off uh, ever since. The two uh, has been feud. The two meaning Duplessis and Adesanya has been feuding ever since the South African-born Duplessis made a claim that he would be the UFC's true African champion 
a knockout on a Nigerian born Adesanya living in New Zealand. Jupessa's victory over Rob Whitaker at two UFC 290. Adesanya entered the octagon and confronted Still Knox with uh, explicit lace trident. I don't know what, what that the is. Fuck is that? And he said that delivered an ugly racial undertone and intensified their their rivalry. The two-time middleweight champ uh, on his hiatus with the last year, Adesanya will jump right back into the title hunt and pursue his biggest rival, Duplessis. Shit, these niggas fighting for the whole continent. They, they fighting for Africa. He's they fighting for, for Africa. the whole continent, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, this some ill shit, though. Shout out to these niggas, bro. It's kind of like when... uh. This nigga Kawhi won the oh he won Canada over when he won the championship. But these niggas is about to fight. It's not like some shit about who about to be the king of the fucking the whole the whole shit, bro. Kawhi was lucky. Nigga said, if you come back here, you eat free at every single restaurant. What? And the crazy thing is, Duplessis beat Sean Strickland, and I think decision. I think he they went to the decision, and he beat Sean Strickland like that. And a lot of people thought Sean Strickland won, but I thought Duplessis won also. But uh, once Duplessis won the champion, I was like, oh, I already know the only biggest matchup for him right now is Izzy. Mm-hmm. Because before Duplessis was du- who he is today, Izzy was the there. nigga Izzy was that nigga. Mm-hmm. So Duplessis was calling out Izzy and already saying, like, yo, I'm the greatest African-American champ. Uh, I'm going to be the greatest African-American champion. I'm going to be the greatest African-American UFC fighter. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So he was already talking shit from then about African American and you respectfully you white. Yeah. And it's looking crazy. So Izzy took that to offense. Then ever since then they've right been brewing for like the last two, three years. So now they actually fighting for Africa. The motherland. Yep. And I feel like Izzy is gonna cook that nigga. Respect. I fuck with Duplessis though. He a wrestler. But I think uh Izzy is more seasoned and i think he that the, the the time off he needed that little seven month time off or whatever however long he had so i got izzy Good decision say i say a knockout, knockout? in the fourth round what kind of knockout in the fourth round what kind of knockout? he gonna you think he gonna kick the nigga head off or think gonna yeah he gonna, he gonna do yeah he probably gonna kick going that yeah he probably gonna mean kick that, that nigga shit nah, I think I, it's gonna be a left it's gonna be it's gonna be a left it's gonna be a left foot back of the head gangster wow. with the left. I think it's gonna be a foot. connect. I think it's gonna be a kick and then a jab or some shit like that. Some shit like a a, a, a combo. Once he fall down, a combo, once he fall down, fat he gonna jump straight on top and just start punching his fucking face in, bro. Do that, that same shit. Do that same shit he did. Yeah, <laughs> took that. Yeah. What is this? UFC three hundred five, August seventeenth. August seventeenth. Ah, shit. Uh, UFC 303 had just passed this weekend. Uh, it was supposed to be the headline, Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler, but Conor McGregor en- ends up breaking his toe, so that fight has to be rescheduled again. It was supposed to go down once before, it's, and then it got rescheduled till this past Saturday, and now it's getting rescheduled again. Back up, the, the uh, backstory behind that is they damn near only fighting because y'all remember the era of when uh my son rampage jackson was coaching his little ufc fighters yeah. and it was the other team that Thanks. tv so show they do it they do yeah. the same shit so it was conor mcgregor's team versus chandler team so mm-hmm. you know same shit and um that's how the fight came about but conor mcgregor ended up suffering a toe injury and a break in his toe or whatever and uh the substitute fight was alex Pereira versus yuri Pro- prohaskas so uh I've seen that. my son alex Pereira. When I tell him. you, he kicked that nigga lights the fuck out, bro. He bro. broke his toe on his head. I swear, I broke his toe. He, gang, he broke his toe on his head and popped it in place after he broke his toe. Damn. Nah, he is tough, bro. Damn, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know this was a substitute fight. Yeah, th- this was the substitute fight for the uh, cancellation. Damn, so, see, you get knocked and they, out. And they got, they got, I think they got uh, only like. Two, they only had like three weeks to prepare for this fight, and, shit. and the night before, Alex Pereira was two hundred and three pounds. The next day, he was two hundred and thirty pounds. What the fuck? I need to, what the fuck did he eat, bro? He was eating good. I don't know how they be doing that shit, bro. Doing? That shit can't be healthy. 
What the fuck is that? Twenty seven pounds, bro. Bro, I don't, I don't know, but the nigga gained twenty seven pounds overnight, overnight. Man. And he does that every fight too, though. Man. It's not his first time doing that, though. Yeah, some good steak. That steak got to be good. I think it was even good. I had like five of them bitches. <laughs> so this nigga Alex Pereira ends up getting the. I think it was the second round knockout. Uh, I wa- I started watching in the middle of the first round. In the middle of the first round, it looked like Alex Pereira was already winning the fight. Uh, and after that, he ends up fucking dropping the nigga at, towards the bell at the end of the bell. Have y'all ever seen somebody get dropped like like at the at the bell ringer? Like in any 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 fighting sport, anybody got uh, dropped at the bell ringer? Yeah, when uh, Holloway. Holloway dropped Gaethje at 459. Holloway dropped Gaethje at 459, bro, nice. in the last round. Nice. Dropped that nigga. That was round. Was it a three round fight or was it a five round fight? I think it was a five round fight. That was for the BMF. Fight. That was for the, that was for the bad motherfucker. And I think, uh, yeah, dropped his ass. Did drop him. And, and Holloway actually did it to uh I I gotta send that one to you. He did it to the uh the zombie nigga. Who? Um the Chinese nigga. Some Chinese nigga. I gotta send you that one. They did the same square roll. This is before the Gaethje fight. And he uh-huh. dropped the, 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 that nigga just in damn near the same way, bro. Same exact he different, way, bro. bro. You know that Justin Holloway. Holloway. Holloway? His name is Justin, right? Max. Oh Max. Max Holloway, you know who that is? Ooh. Some different in nigga Some in the UFC, Chinese, bro. Uh, Spanish nigga with Tattoo. Yo, bro, this nigga showed me a video of him beating some nigga up, bro. He was tagging a nigga up. He looked, he he tagged a nigga, looked in the camera, said, "I'm the best boxer in the UFC." And we tagged. The and, oh, we, he we the hit while saying that. He said, "I'm the best in the UFC." Facts. I said, "What uh, the? F- this was fake. What type of? Sh- no, this was this real is a UFC fight, UFC fight, bro. UFC fight. It was in a fight. It yes, he's dancing fight. with the nigga in the oct- in the in the octagons." Talking to, I don't know if he was talking to Joe Rogan, I don't know who it was. He said, I'm the best boxer in the UFC. We beep, beep. He's not looking at him as he punched him. He's like, we two jabs. Connected the nigga around his jaw, gang. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. I'm about to show you right now. Find some nigga named Qatar. Nigga said, nigga said, I'm the best boxer in the UFC. Bro, the nigga <laughs> weave, the nigga weave three hits and jabbed the nigga. Wow, 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 that fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Damn, son. And I, I show him. I show, and after he seen that Gaethje fight, the nigga became automatic fan. He said, "Yo, that nigga different." Bro. I followed him on Instagram after the Gaethje yeah, fight, bro. Because <laughs> I seen that, I seen that, and I was like, "Damn!" But the Gaethje nigga was. I had a parlay out, so I chose Gaethje. But when I seen that, I was really like torn type shit. But Gaethje looked like more of an all around better fighter, so I took Gaethje. He not Gaethje out with one second left in the fifth round, bro. He was pouncing on him the whole fight, though. But it was 459, and he rocked me. Came around with the right. Draw his shit. Nigga just dropped, bro, on his belly. Ran no talk of shit. I went straight to Instagram. I said, follow. This nigga's tough. <laughs> you don't care what the I don't give a fuck, bro. Because I knew he was going to win. Like, originally, I had him, but. I just ain't follow my first mom, but yeah, I was mad bread that night. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to show you. I had like three Paul Lee's out that <laughs> night. <laughs> I'm about to show you the whole uh, Justin Gaethje shit so you can see how to, how this nigga became man. I, I was telling this nigga, I said, yo, bro, this nigga Max Holloway different. All right. <sighs> 
So Bro, look at these niggas. So this is Max Holloway thing. His his thing in the last in the last 15, 10, 15 seconds, his thing is let's stand in the middle of the rink and just box, swing. Do not stop swinging until the comment. Well, That's what he, he told the nigga to do. He does that with everybody okay. during damn near during the end of his fights. Okay. And this is and he he this is his second time doing what he's do about to do right now. That's what he invited. Can you run it back? Look at how he got him slumped, bro. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm betting fifth round every time now. On him. <laughs> I'm betting knockout in the last 15 seconds. I'm putting 50 on it every time. I think he came around and said, "Bang!" And he said, "Oh, love, bro." Dude, He's still on the ground, bro. That nigga, his body. Oh yeah. Right here. Yo, he went down instantly, game. Nah, yeah, he went On a sleep. button, bro. Yo, you see his face? Nah, he went to sleep. He automatically went from. Yeah, he went to sleep, bro. Nah, he went to sleep. That nigga lost all feeling in his face. He went to sleep. Oh, is on a. Game. Bought him, bro. My son Max Holloway is different, yo. I fuck with him, and it's just a couple niggas that's like that. Derek Lewis, another nigga, knockout machine. Uh, Max, I, bro, Venom, he 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 don't get too much knockouts, but he nice too. But shout out to UFC. It's a whole lot of shit going on USA. We gonna keep y'all updated and in tune with the next uh with the Israel Adesanya and Duplessis fight. Uh. Hopefully the Kazma Chimaya fight and uh, what's his name Rob Whitaker end up getting rescheduled because that was supposed to go down too. Rob Whitaker ended up fighting somebody else and knocked him out too. Uh, oh, he fought uh, Paulo Paulo Costa and knocked him out. Uh, but that's our thoughts on the UFC. So now let's move on to this. Right, women's basketball is on the rise. Women's basketball is on the rise. We got. The females, we had Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese had they, what, second or third game? I think second game they played each other. Second game. So I think had, it was their third game they played. Was it their third meeting? I think so. This season already? Yeah. Well, it's probably their third because, remember, the WNBA and college NBA, their seasons is only like two, two months games. apart. Two months apart from each other. The start and the finish, I'm talking about. So, oh. it, it they remember they they faced each other before in the semifinals going to the college fi- NCAA uh, finals, and then they had to face each other. I think they faced each other only two times in this in this shit. Because the remember the first time was the K- uh, Kennedy Chandler shit. Yeah. And I think uh, Indiana Fever won that one. Uh, after Indiana won that one, that's when this nigga. I said I said this nigga. This girl, <laughs> Caitlin Clark, she went, she went off in that one. And then now they had a second game. And Angel Reese, they call Angel Reese just at the wrong time. She's been on the rampage so far. Uh, so far, she's, what, 10 games? The most all-time by any player in the WNBA in consecutive <coughs> double-double? I think it's like eight, eight, eight games. Nah, it's 10 now. It's over it's now. 10 yeah, now. It's, it's 10, 10 now. now. It's 10 now. It's uh, in the notes <laughs> thing, but... That's why I posted, but it's 10 now. Damn, can I read these stats, bro? God yeah, damn. Bro. Over her last eight games before, you know, it reached 10, 25, 16, 25 and 16, 16 and 18, 16 points, 18 rebounds with three assists, 11 points, 13 rebounds, five assists, 10 rebounds, four, 10 points, 14 rebounds, two assists, 20 points, 10 rebounds, two steals, 13 points, 13 boards, five steals, 16 points, 11 boards, five steals. 13 points, 10 boards, and a block. Rookie of the year, guys? You know who they're going to give it to. We know who they're going to give it to stat-wise. It's given, though, bro. Shit. Shout out to Angel fucking she breaking the rec- She breaking records. Already. The, 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 she's the number one in double-doubles in WNBA history in her first season. Number one. 
Not number two, three, top five, top ten. No, number one. In her rookie season, it's only been like, what, they only, what, ten games into the season? Uh-huh. Well, like 15 games into the season? Uh-huh. She leads the league in rebounding already. I think she averaged like, what, ten? I think her and Asia Wilson is, is right neck and neck, I think. I'm not Tied right. third in st- with steals. 13.4 points, second among rookies, seven double-doubles, first in, in NBA history to do that in the span of a month. That is, like, really outstanding, bro. You know what's crazy about that also is uh, Kaylin Clark is still having subpar shooting nights. She's still turning the ball over a lot. So if you're talking about rookie of the year, I think it's actually a – a real conversation to where we don't just give it to uh Caitlin Clark because that's what the narrative and that's what the name is. I think you really have to take heed into what she's doing because she's doing that shit and she's black. So shout out to Andrew Reese. You see her mom's at the game? Yeah, I see her. And she was cooking and, shit. And, and, and her mom's was there when she made the final free throw to actually make history to hit the 10 straight. Uh, Consecutive yeah. double doubles. She, she tied. Uh, she ends up passing Candace Parker, who was number one with nine consecutive, and now she surpasses because Candace Parker. She sits at, on her throne alone with ten, ten double doubles in a row. Uh, I feel like what what Angel Reese has been doing for the WNBA has been underlooked, and I feel like what Angel, uh, I say Angel, uh, Caitlin Clark's been doing for the WNBA, it's been overlooked. A lot of people have been paying attention to what Caitlin Clark's been doing. Yes, the turnovers be looking crazy, but some people watch the games. Her teammates can't catch for shit. Nah, in fact, I do watch <laughs> the games, bro. On the fast breaks, yo, bro, I was watching the game the other day. I think it was playing the Liberty. On a fast break, bro, nice dime from like three quarter way um, on oh, the, the other overhead, side. The whole head, y'all. And the shorty went and missed the ball, bro. Like it went through her fucking hand. She threw a nice ass dime and went straight through. I did watch the girl games, bro. It's, you can learn I a seen, lot watching the games, bro. I seen that shit, and I was like, I'm like, bro. I'm like, yo, bro. The turnovers is only because her teammates. They can't they catch, can't the, catch ball. the ball. Facts. She, and, her, and, the way and, she and passes if, is crazy. If her teammate actually makes half the shots that they do catch, she'll have way more assists also. She, she still have dropping 13 assists some games. Yeah, her career high when uh, her and Reese in their last matchup, uh, the Chicago Sky <laughs> won. Actually, no, this wasn't their last matchup. It's their last matchup. Uh, Chicago actually. Oh, I'm tweaking. I'm Chicago bugging. won, bro. So, they came yeah, back and this won. was their last matchup. Yeah, they won, won 88 to 87, and uh, they both had career high nights. Uh, Reese Angel Reese had 25 points, which was a career high, and Kaylin Clark had 13 assists, which was a career high. Uh, Angel Reese had 25 and 16, eight for 12 from the fill in, nine for 12 from the free throw line. Kaylin Clark, huh? Nine for 11. How much I said? Nine for 12. Oh, nine for 11 from the free throw line. Sorry. And Kaylin Clark got 17 points, 13 assists, five boards, and four steals. And she shot, she shot five for nine from three. Camilla Cardozo also added 16 and 10. Kennedy Carter had 23 and five. And Kelsey Kennedy Carter Mitchell. is nice. Yeah, she is nice. Yo. She a hater, but she nice. When she, she ever nice. since she said that, what does it, what else do Kaylin Clark do besides shoot and everything? She been balling. Yeah. She At been least dropping she back 20. She been dropping a, a calm 20 points then every game ever since. And she, she, been cooking shit. and she got a nice jumper. Yeah, she got an, and she get she get to the lane. She could get to the lane too. She, she and Kelsey, Kelsey, bucket. Kelsey Mitchell added twenty four five and ten from three. Kelsey so. Mitchell's a bucket too. Od right behind Kate Clark every time, bro. Right behind or, or she leading Clark. the game. She's a bucket. Uh, Chicago Sky actually came back from down seventeen in that game. So now Angel Reese and Kayla Clark is officially one and one in a W in WNBA, and I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, they got one more game. Uh, this season, mm-hmm. uh, do you in in from what I'm? Let me see. Hold on. Let me see something. Sorry, guys. So, from what I'm seeing right here. The fever is in eighth seed right now, and the sky is in ninth seed right now. So they right there neck and neck with each other, 
It's just the sky is 6 and 11, and the fever is 8 and 12. Remember, fever started off bad. It was like 0 for 6. Right. 0 and, 0 they lost their first seven games. Yeah, then they hit the, like, I think they went on like a four game win streak or whatever, and mm-hmm. four or five game win streak, and they got that, that wins back up. And, you know, Chicago Sky, they still, they had 6 and 11. They, could, they need uh, the two more games to catch up to them, two, three more games to catch up to them or, or suppress them. With that, so they still got some, some groundwork to do to get to the playoffs. With that rookie of the year shit, you don't think they take into like account for the not just stats, but for the fact of how your team status is going to? You don't oh, think yeah, they based sure. on that too? <coughs> that's let, definitely that's definitely how it is in let the NBA. Indiana Fever get into the playoffs. They give it to Caleb Clark. Oh yeah, because for sure. Indiana yeah. Fever ain't been in the playoffs that forever, and they had number one pick last year. They had yeah. number one pick this year. They was the worst team last year. Mm-hmm. And it was damn near about the on the way to be the worst. The last pick year. was Aaliyah Boston, I think. Aaliyah Boston. Aaliyah Boston. She putting up a, a calm like maybe like twelve and like eight. 12 I ain't gonna nine. lie. Her last couple games though, she's been dropping twenty. She no, I seen I that. I think she averaged like twenty point five in her last like four or five games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, she she fucked me up in my parlay. Yeah, yeah. I know hmm. about that. I know about her. She, she fucked it up in my parlay. Shout out to uh, I seen Cameron Bring. Catch out to Cameron Bring. She went down with the torn ACL. Like Jimmy yeah. Butler's favorite WNBA player. Huh? Jimmy Butler love her. Dude, and she loves, yeah, she loves Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler love her. Jimmy Butler do love her, bro. And she loves Jimmy Butler too. Facts. I know I know during this time Jimmy Butler reached out to her because he's been through that situation. And I already know it. But uh it's it's a it was a uh interview after the the, the matchup between Chicago Sky and Deanna Fever, Caitlin Clark went and she was asked if there's a rivalry going between her and Angel Reese, and this was her response to that. She sound like me. <laughs> so that's what that's what she said in response of is there a rivalry going between her and uh Angel Reese. Do y'all think it's a rivalry going between them two or between the teams at least? Nah, I think it's just they're going after the players that came out the college WNBA college league hot. Caitlin Clark was hot. Angel Reese was hot. All the media around Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark's three point contest with Steph Curry, like, oh, she a greater shooter than Steph, like all that extra shit, bro. Uh, that just, was that was UNESCO. What? Who had yeah, the uh, oh Sabrina? Yeah, that was Sabrina and that's cool. That was last year at the uh, NBA NBA All Star. Shit, this year they stuff? playing in the team up with Sabrina and that's cool and Steph versus Clay and who the fuck was Clay supposed to be with? Damn, Steph. that's oh that's, oh she was supposed he was supposed to be with I think UNESCO. So who the fuck Steph was supposed to be with? Clark. Facts. Or Clark and Steph versus That's probably what I was talking about thinking about, but yeah. that beef's gonna be real between Clay and Steph. <laughs> yeah, but bro, so I don't think it's no rivalry, bro. They just doing that for the media, making a beef that's nothing. Like what she said, bro. If there is something there, I didn't know about it. I'm clueless. So them bitches know it's something. I think it's something, yeah. You know what I think, if I'm being honest, I think Angel Reese is jealous of the clout that Clark is getting, and she not getting that. I think that's what it is, bro. I'm gonna keep it a, keep it a bean. I if, think if I, see I this, don't give a fuck. Wow, you out in the comments. I don't. <coughs> bitches go go ahead, bro. But I'm just saying, like 
Angel Reese was saying, like, yo, bro, she's not the only one in the league, bro. I'm doing shit too. She said that before, bro. She's right. So, so that's what people. Th- that's what it's looking like. It's looking like, yo, bro, Clark is getting all this publicity and and clout and all that, and they just missing the fact of what she's doing. But now that she first rookie WNBA history, ten games straight, double doubles and all. Uh-huh. And she putting up good numbers. Yeah, she gonna get her name out there. I'm not saying nothing, but I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas say. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. She look like she jealous, bro. From outside looking in, it look like you jealous. So, uh, I think, um, I don't know. I think it's jealousy on both ends. Both of them share jealousy on each other in some type of way. Clark ain't show nothing to no interest in that beef at all, bro. In that she NBA. ain't show no interest, but at the same time, she still feel she still got that. I, we never know because I hear a lot of people say that Caitlin Clark talk a lot of shit on that court. Oh yeah, she so did. nigga, fuck that, nigga. I don't, I don't like losing, nigga. So if I'm Caitlin Clark, yeah, bitch, I want to see you again in the championship now, and I'm gonna bust your ass because I ain't get my get back in NCAA in the in in this past uh, spring. Nigga, I want to get back, and now we can do it on the biggest stage. That's how I would be looking at it. Niggas always want to duck off and be tucking tail when they bring a viral. Yes, nigga, I want all the smoke, bro. That's just going to be my response. Who you think is better? Kate. (laughs) (laughs) Kaylin Clark, I think. Honestly, bro, if if I'm keeping it tall, both of them have not performed up to what we expected them to. No, hell no. They I don't have. think so. I think they're improving now. They're getting it now, but it was a slow start. Is what I'm saying. Well, of course, that's you hit a rookie wall, bro. Of course, that happens in the NBA as well. You I gotta adjust. That. Right. But I think that Clark is showing, bro. Like, I, I, I don't know if you watch the games, bro, but I dead ass watch the games, bro. And the way she be playing, she is a facilitator, bro. No, Clark, and she Clark can is, do Clark everything, deal, bro. bro. She's down there playing defense. She's taking charges, bro. She's grabbing rebounds. Like, Listen, I, I think she's the better player. I think she's a better player. I know she's a better player, but I I don't want to overlook a twenty five and sixteen nah, facts. as a rookie. You know that's that's and, that's twelve feet. Look, look how what she shot what eight for twelve. That's four shots you missed only. A lot of people have been saying most of her rebounds is offensive rebounds off missed layups from her. Mm-hmm. But look how she shoot. It's efficient, bro. That's great for a rookie. Twenty five and what sixteen, bro? Eight for twelve, nine for eleven on free throws. That's great for a rookie, bro. She's doing good. It's not overlooked, bro. But Kate. Caitlin Clark is it looked like Caitlin like Moore that. got like got like a better feel for the game for sure. Facts. I will say I will more say all that. around play, upgrade her for sure. Upgrade on improve on defense and you'll be alright because bro, what I want to Angel Reese need to improve on is her offense for real. That's it. That's she she need to extend. She need to extend yeah. mid range. Give me a mid range, bro, in a three. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You extend your game out there, then you're fine, bro. Because you can board, you can get five assists. You're getting five steals and two blocks. She, she got to take on, like, the Tim Duncan role. Like, she got to get her some shit off the glass or something. Like, she got to kill her with fundamentals, bro, Facts. because you know what is crazy? She's so skilled already. So she gets the fundamentals down pack, bro. It's, it's – you already talking her up there with the with the Asia Wilsons because she is that good, so. But Asia Wilson, out. she stretches the floor. Different. She, she plays MVP. Outside. Different. Uh, two, she, she, think she, two-time she, NBA, uh, NBA, two time NBA, NBA, WNBA champ. She's going for MVP. She's, she's going for three. MVP and the three, two or three time champion. Also, Facts. she going for the third MVP this year. She about to sweep that shit. She cooking, bro. Who else going more than? Her? Yeah, she averaged like 26, 27. Come on, bro. She a dog. I take her over every time. Every Guess time what? they hit. Guess what? Last game, it, it didn't hit. Cause I should be like twenty seven <laughs> though. That's why. 26. The first day I ever bet on her, bro, I took her for under 26. You know how much she had? How much? 27. Wow. So I bet. <laughs> the next game, it said over 27.5. I said, I'm going to take her for the over. You know how much she had? 28. I'm like, I'm going to hit every time with this, <laughs> with this girl, bro. The next game, 11. <laughs> Never betting on her again. It'd be like that, bro. <laughs> Never again. It'd be like that, but she's bro. She's dumb nice, bro. I did watch, I did watch her play, too. She's dumb nice. Her she and, played uh, with Angel Kelsey. Reese just had they, – they battle. They just played against each other the other day, too. Facts. And I think um the sky was up. The sky came back was up for Vegas one. Yeah, they came back and won. Listen, it, was, man. it was a good game. Uh, Angel yes. Reese – I mean, 
uh, Adrian Wilson caught Andrew Reese a couple of times with some beautiful footwork. You just straight beautiful. Show her, show her, show yeah, yeah. how the game. If you can do this, play. then maybe you can be up here with me. But she, you see her talking to her throughout the game. You see her gave her a five throughout the game and shit like that. So she was still, you know, showing her that that respect during the game. Uh, I, I think Andrew Reese, she just a couple of steps away from being one of the best bigs alongside Asia Wilson in the game right now. Yeah, both. Uh, I, I I think both Andrew Reese and Caitlin Clark definitely gonna be around for a long time. <laughs> so uh, that was our thoughts on the whole Andy Reese, Caitlin Clark situation. So before we close out, I just thought of a nice question I wanted to ask since we got the gang here. This is aside from all sports and everything. So the question is, is it appropriate to exchange expensive gifts with an ex while legally married to somebody else? Ex, baby moms, etc. Exchange gifts, man. Exchange gifts to your ex for what occasion? Like birthday type shit, or birthday, just like birthday, any any type of special occasion? Is it okay? Like, let's say you got a baby moms, and but now you with somebody else, you married to somebody else. Is it okay for you to buy a very expensive gift for your baby moms and your actual wife not to not be mad at it? Okay, fuck no, I'm not doing that shit. Fuck no. Because if roles are reversed, fuck no. Fuck no. I'm not doing that shit. Derek. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> fuck no. I will punch a bitch so hard in her fucking face, bro. <laughs> like, don't even nah. Come on. No. Absolutely not. Don't come to me with it. Don't so absolutely not. What about you, Kai? And then I gotta, I, I'm, I'm gonna ask y'all a question after. What about you? Uh, me personally, it, it, it all honestly depends on my relationship with my baby moms. And it depends on what the fuck I'm getting her. Is it something that she needs? Expensive, nigga. You just said expensive. All right, but you don't a need lot nothing. Things, a lot, like, imagine she got shot and she needed a new wheelchair. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Wheelchairs is free, provided by the hospital. Come on now, insurance. <laughs> Wheelchairs is free, provided by the hospital, nigga. They slap it on the bill later, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, all right, so what if, what if, God forbid, she paralyzed, and I got to make that shit to where, you know, she sit on the thing, and then it could got her up the stairs while she's sitting on her, her Insurance, room. nigga. Yo, bro, what she, what, 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 bro, nigga, you don't insurance, nigga? No, I, I just, you don't have insurance. Where you don't got insurance? I got insurance. <laughs> I'm talking about, this is hypothetical. This is all hypothetical. So if I had, if, if I had a shorty and she needed, well, she needed something expensive, depending on what it is, of course, and that's my baby mom's. I'm gonna provide for my baby moms because that's still the mother of my child, respectfully. But if she wilding on something like, "Yo, I need, I need a new dress. I need some hair. I need my nails done. I need this. I need that. I need a new TV for my room." Nah, all of that, no. It's for, if it's regarding the kid, then sure. That's the only reason why I'd ever give my BM money because I'm gonna be there for my son. If it's regarding daughter. the kid, that's the only expensive thing I'm buying. Exactly. Anything else is is that's for you. Yeah. Me personally, go find your nigga. Okay, so let me ask you this. Your current girl, y'all three years in, two years in, her ex died. She allowed to cry and go to the funeral. Her ex is dead. She's allowed to cry and go to the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah, allowed to go my, to the funeral. This nigga be sharing shit like this on the TikTok. He be reposting shit like this on TikTok. I know you not allowing it, bro. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> go suck a, go See suck you a later, dick then, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't go to the funeral. Sure, yeah, I'm sorry. Nah, nah. Yeah, you gotta, you nah. gotta sit this. You can like the pictures on Instagram, like <laughs> that's nah, that's that's the most. You can't even do that. You can't even do that. Nigga, what? Damn. I nigga dead. You with me? What the fuck is you talking about? Damn. He's see, dead. You, he can't see you liking the pictures anyway. What what that shit gonna do true. for him? That's true. That's why. <laughs> nigga, I don't give a fuck. You stupid as nigga. What? He's dead. What the fuck? But look, but look. Out of respect, out of respect. If I let's say you, don't you not know let your bitch go to the let's funeral, say you bro. don't even know the nigga and he passed away or some shit, right? 
and she comment like rest in peace or some shit like that and like it like it rest in peace and she shared it I, I rest in peace to him i, I knew him I, I, I rest in peace though and she move on from it you you not gonna approve of that still nigga i don't know the nigga bro <laughs> I, don't give a fuck who's dead. I, I word to mother bro i don't give a fuck who's dead i don't know the nigga bro I don't know you. I'm not even dropping a rest <laughs> in peace. You can't drop a rest in peace. I don't care if that was your your sister's nephew's cousin's friend, bro. I don't care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I dead ass don't give a fuck. Don't like the picture. Don't do nothing. <laughs> Yo, son. Let me just tell you. Uh, so I think I think oh that's that's crazy. I think. She should. She. I, I let her pay her respect once. But yeah, I want. Once, I, I once you start yeah. dragging it and I see some emotion coming out of you, it's over, bro. To answer the question, can you, you go, go to the with funeral? That nigga. Nah, you can't go to the funeral. Okay. Like I said, a little social media support and showing respect because condolences. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? But all that other shit and crying if you cry. You dead to me. You might as well. <laughs> you, go you, you can go be with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real shit. Real shit. Yeah, I like those questions, fellas. We should end up on a, on a regular. So, listen, man, it was it was great having you back, bro. It was great having you back. We it's miss a, you, bro. It's always the good to be back. The street has you. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. We didn't accomplish so much since you've even been last year. He, we didn't even have 100 subscribers since the last time the camera seen this minute, bro. We have 78. Damn. Damn. Facts. Why are we <laughs> Damn. That seemed mad long ago. That was mad long ago. Was long ago. We reached 100 uh, May 23rd, and we reached to 200 June 26th. Bro, the last time I was on here was in March. You know how I know? That was the last time I had a haircut. <laughs> a haircut, bro. <laughs> that was the last time I seen my barber. It was, was wolfing ass, ass here, motherfucker. Oh, man, bro. Bro. Ghost, bro. I tell you. Shit. Wow. We had a lot of shit going on. Uh, we, we did the uh, interview. <laughs> we did the interview? Yo, do you still have the footage, bro? This is getting cut out. I still got it. I'm, nigga, you know I don't care. Bro. Team Focus with the footage at, gang. Like, come on, bro. Nah, real shit. If y'all niggas see the, this. We were waiting the footage. Been we waiting the footage, footage bro. bro. Since forever, we just need the footage. We would have had it, but we just were waiting the footage, bro. So, and it was, and it was a good interview. Yeah, it was a very good interview. It was, interview. Good interview. It, it, it was like almost like a two hour interview, we were solid, chopping it up, talking good about mad basketball shit and real and life shit. Also, uh, what else we had? What else were we doing? Talked, Talked about Christian the- Rock came back to the channel. Oh, yeah, Christian Rock she made her grand, sure. she made her grand appearance. <laughs> Back to the channel. Uh, what else? We had Diddy. Diddy make a couple grand appearances. A lot of grand appearances actually on the channel. After even after you was still after you were he made a lot of grand appearances. Uh, what else? What else? What else been happening? Well, you see the background. Facts. You see everything that's going on. Got the three. Yeah, uh, I don't know, but we got a lot going on. We, we actually trying to. Uh, Go to start doing shit on Wednesdays or well whatever days niggas is available to go out to uh like a event like a basketball event a party event whatever it is a not party event but like somebody who we who's known with some type of name grabbing or some shit like that mm-hmm. and footage and shit like that uh or just doing our own footage when we outside playing basketball type shit like we did before that shit was fire so we you know we still trying to think. Running around, run that wrap our head around that, trying to get the uh, poster shit. Uh, I don't think after that, I think we good. The poster, mm-hmm. after the poster and the two pictures, I think we good after that. Yeah, like two hundred. Sure. We got we got three hundred more to go to to the goal. Monetization type Monetization game. Yeah. Monetization. Yeah. So listen, man. Appreciate you for pulling up back on the show. It was a good one. Uh, we had to get back out of last week, bro. So we're gonna talk about that. Any closing remarks? Not talking about that today. But any closing remark before we close out? Uh, just keep subscribing. Keep viewing the videos like y'all been doing. The, the views been going crazy. So keep keep.
keep viewing the videos, keep staying in tune with everything we got going on. Shout out to all the street heads, Brandon. You got anything else you want to go around? I'm gonna be back soon. Don't forget this face. I'm gonna see y'all niggas. Alright, like, comment, subscribe, follow our social media. It's a street report, and we out, gang.